Year 7 Biology. Welcome. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about blood, muscles and blood. Blood is made from different components, plasma red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. The plasma is the yellow liquid part of the blood that carries both the nutrients and waste materials. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin. This is a compound that allows the red blood cells to carry oxygen. Red blood cells have no nuclei and a concave shape. This gives them a large volume so they can carry more oxygen. White blood cells make up the immune system. These cells fight of invading bacterial cells or viruses to keep the body healthy. Platelets are the part of the body that helps the blood to clot. This works to stop bleeding after a cut or wound. Platelets are the part of the body that helps the blood to clot. This works to stop bleeding after a cut or wound. There are three types of blood vessels in the body. Arteries, veins, capillaries. Arteries are blood vessels that lead away from the heart. They are thick and muscular. This is because blood flows through the arteries under high pressure. Veins lead back to the heart. The walls are thinner and less muscular than arteries. The blood flows in veins at lower pressure, and so there are valves in veins to prevent the blood from flowing back down the blood vessels. Capillaries lead from arteries to cells and then back to veins. These blood vessels are thin and are only one cell thick to make it easier for substances such as oxygen to pass from the blood into the cells. The pulse is the passage of blood as it has been pumped by the heart. It can be felt at certain places in the body while arch arteries are close to the skin, such as the neck or wrist. The heart pumps blood around the body. The heart has chambers that fill with blood, and when the muscle of the heart contracts the blood is pumped out into arteries that go to the lungs or the body.